I'm Riley with DIY Things That Fly, and today I'm going to be speaking about what drones do for good. I'm just going to start this off talking about some common misconceptions about consumer drones or quadcopters, the biggest one being spying. A DJI Phantom cannot spy on you. If you're worried about someone peeking in your window or looking at your house with a drone, don't be because someone can get better results with a GoPro tape to a stick. Drones are extremely noisy. You can hear them. You can see them coming. Their cameras can't zoom. They're not that high quality. If you've seen telephoto lenses, if someone really wanted to spy on you, they'd be using a telephoto lens for miles and miles away. Here's an example trying to spy on someone using a drone with digital zoom, and here's an example using a telephoto lens. There's a big difference, right? Not only is using a high magnification lens much more efficient, but that person is so far away, you wouldn't even be able to hear them or see You'd have no idea what's happening. So if someone really wanted to spy on you, that's what they'd be doing, not using a drone or a quadcopter. Another common misconception about drones is that consumer drone technology and military drone technology is pretty much the same. It's not. This thing is not on the same level as a predator drone. Neither is this thing, or this thing, or this thing. Sure, they all fly. Sure, they all have autonomous capabilities. These are made for fun. These are made for aerial video. They're made for 3D mapping. They're made for messing around in your home. This is made for blowing up cars from six miles in the sky. There is a difference, and it's a really big difference. So don't put toy quadcopters and hobbyist grade machines on the same level as military drones. Another common misconception is that drone delivery is something that's gonna be happening soon. A while ago, Amazon announced they're gonna be starting to use drones by, I think it was 2017 or 2018. Amazon Prime Air to deliver stuff. As neat as that would be, there's a lot of hurdles that need to be jumped over. This technology has been around for a handful of years, but it's still relatively new stuff. The biggest problems I think there are with this is that although it's a really cool concept, quadcopters or octocopters or really any multi-rotor is more inefficient than a plane. And because of the nature of how these things fly, their battery life is relatively poor. We haven't had a major breakthrough in lithium battery technology since the 70s. So we've got new machines running on old batteries and that leads to short flight times. My concern with safety is pretty self-explanatory. As I was saying, this technology is relatively new, so there's still a lot of problems with it. You can get a quadcopter off the shelf that works 99 out of 100 times, but that one time it malfunctions is going to be a problem if your quadcopter is delivering a payload and it needs to be there on time and it's flying over a crowded city. I don't want to put a date on it and say, I know this is going to happen by this date, but I do think that sometime in the near future, not 2018, not 2019, not 2020, but sometime soon, drones will start to be used for delivery in rural areas. I think it's going to be a while until drones are used for delivery in cities. Back to bad drone stereotypes. The drone carrying a bob is not something you need to worry about. The most common quadcopter on the market right now is the DJI Phantom 4, which has a payload of around 600 grams, which is not nearly enough to do damage to anything. Now something like this could probably carry a few pounds, but making something efficient and large enough to carry, you know, a bomb is really difficult. Flight times are short enough with no payload. You start adding weight, you start losing flight time. If the thing can maybe carry enough, and fly for 30 seconds, it's useless. Sure, it would be possible to carry small explosives on quadcopters, but it's not effective and it's not efficient. So that's not really something you have to worry about. Now that we've got almost all the negative stereotypes of drones or quadcopters out of the way, Let's talk about what multi-rotors or fixed-wing UAVs are capable of achieving. By the way, UAV stands for Unmanned Aerial Vehicle. One of the coolest things you can do with the drone is 3D mapping. Not only can you buy drones that are capable of making 3D maps of areas they fly around, but it's possible to build one yourself using flight controllers running software like Artopilot. 3D mapping of areas can be used from things like house inspections all the way up to mapping mountains people can't climb or mapping places people can't get to. These drones can also make 2D maps from above and survey large areas from the sky. It can make large, high-quality mapping images, which you can then look for, for things like missing people or stranded hikers or poachers. They can also be flown over farms to find the areas that are less efficient, which can help small farms stay in business and keep themselves growing. Back to the point about finding missing people, not only can the UAV find the people, but in the future, even nowadays, they'll be able to start delivering supplies. The reason I say in the future is right now there are a few drones that are capable of delivering supplies to people stranded, and sure you can build one yourself, but right now there aren't really many in the market. The application for this technology is huge. It's one of the fastest growing industries out there, and that's without even mentioning consumer drones. The consumer drone market is huge. DJI, the largest consumer drone company, has a net worth of over a billion dollars. You can see why. These things make epic video. So next time you guys hear the word drone, instead of thinking there's some pervert behind the controls trying to spy on you, think about all the amazing applications they can be used for, and how maybe one day that machine in the sky above you is going to be used to save someone's life. Thanks for watching guys. My name is Riley with DIY Things That Fly, and if you liked that video, let me know in the comments. Check the video description in case I left anything out. Subscribe for more content like this, and I'll See you guys next time.